Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today I'm so, so excited to finally be bringing you my first look at The Sims 4 City Living. So I just wanna say a big thank you to EA UK who invited me along a few weeks ago to their City Living producer event tour thing that happened and big thank you to you guys as well because without you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't be able to do all of this crazy stuff that I do. So EA kindly offered to send me to London so that I could check out this game before release. And let me just tell you, my first impressions, personally, these are all based off my first look. We had probably about five, four or five hours to play the game and I barely scratched the surface. Honestly, I feel like there is just so much more on offer in this expansion pack that I got to see. I only got to see the beginning of one career. Um, so yeah, I really didn't delve in too deep because I want to explore it, obviously, when the game is actually released. With you guys in my Let's Play, I will be doing a Let's Play. However, we're gonna hop right on in to some of the clips that I got to record. I got to record 10 minutes of footage, so it's not gonna be a standard Let's Play. It's gonna be more looking at the new activities that we get to do and things of that nature and I just want to show you guys pretty much what's on offer in City Living because I feel like you all have high expectations and personally I feel like this pack lives up to them. Of course I jump straight into the social media career. So here you can see my media intern and he's just started his social media profile. He's trying to get up his followers. He's sending out all those tweets. He's making those YouTube videos and he also needs to take a photo of a gym. So that's what we were going out to do. He's just trying to update his social media so that he gets way more followers so that he can impress them with his gym selfie. He's currently working from home, which works the same way as an active career in get together pretty much, which is an awesome new feature. If you really want to be immersed into your Sims life, you can really control how they work and what they need to do. I also wanted to test out whether these activities could be done in a world other than San Myshuno. So I sent him actually over to the gym in Windenburg. This was actually Wee Albert's idea. He was like, please could you try to go to a different neighborhood, see if your sim can take this photo in another gym. So not the Skyline one that's sitting in Uptown in San Myshuno. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing right now. I headed out to Windenburg, you know. We all love a little bit of Windenburg and I was like, you know what? We're gonna take a selfie. He's one of those people that would definitely, <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely yeah. upload a gym selfie. Even though it doesn't really look like he's in a gym from the picture that he takes, there's like a little bit of gym equipment behind him. He's not in workout clothes or anything, which I was like, why am I taking this? <laughs> but it was really just to test whether these work activities are actually tied to San Myshuno. But as you can see, his thing has been completed. He took a photo at a gym. He took a selfie in Windenburg. So those little activities, you don't have to technically be in the city for it, which is a really nice concept. It means that you can still travel between all The Sims 4 worlds and they can intertwine in some ways. Obviously, all of the festival activities that you get, like go out and try this food or go to GeekCon and take some pictures there, pose with the cosplayers, those are tied to the festivals which are tied to San Myshuno. So you can't just go to Willow Creek, have a festival there and do those activities in that world. 
And then GeekCon rolled into town. That was actually the notification that pops up when a new festival appears in your town. You can choose to attend right then and there. And he actually had a social media career activity, which was, I think, to play two hours of video games at GeekCon, which is just so funny. I absolutely love that. I mean, he's pretty much just me right now. He's going to these events and playing games as his career, which is what I get to do thanks to YouTube and all of you watching this right now. So we're kind of just having a look around GeekCon and a cheeky little Mortimer and Bella Goth decide that they want to woohoo in a rocket ship in the middle of a convention. Like, that's not how conventions work. What are you two doing? This is not the romance festival. This is GeekCon. So GeekCon actually took place around the karaoke bar. And as you can see, there are a lot of cosplayers. We have some Grim Reapers. We have some Super Llamas. I really, really like the fact that townies get dressed up and they are actually called cosplayers in the game, which is just my favorite thing ever. My inner nerd was just flowing outside of me. You can see the merch stall behind them all. So just look at this. Townies roaming around, all dressed up as geeks, just chatting away to each other. Princess Leia has some fascinating stories to tell. Who knew that those Star Wars costumes would come in handy for something in The Sims 4? I didn't. <laughs> as you can see from the notification in the top right hand corner right now, there are some competitions going on. So your sim can either take part in the hackathon, which I spied a Darth Maul hacking. I mean, I feel like Darth Maul would probably be a pro at that. And your sims can also test their gaming skills in the gaming cube right over here, which is what my sim's currently doing. I don't actually know if you win things from these. I didn't actually get to see whether he would win if he won the tournament, but that would be an awesome feat if it is included. But like I said, I really don't know about that. I didn't get to explore that side of things too much. From what I saw, I really, really like the GeekCon festival in City Living. I think it's so cool that you can actually pose for selfies with cosplayers and townies who are dressed up in these crazy nerdy outfits. And also when I actually reached level two of the social media career, I could actually check in at places from my sim's phone. So when he actually attended GeekCon, he whipped out his phone and he was like, I don't know what he typed, probably just like, hey, what's up nerds, I'm at GeekCon or something like that. That's how I imagine it went down. But yeah, he could check in and that actually raised his following, which was just so cool. Like your sims basically have their own Facebook now where they can check in. Like, these sims are just becoming more and more realistic with every expansion pack that we get. I'm kind of scared that this dude is gonna come for my job. I, of course, wanted Rex to come home with some pretty sweet swag from GeekCon. So I sent him over to the merch table and we really tried to haggle, but Marcus Flex wasn't having any of it. And you know, with those muscles, I was not even gonna fight him. I mean, our haggling did work with one of them. And then I just decided, screw it. I'm just gonna buy something at full price because I really, really just don't don't want to argue with him right there so buying it at full price you know I mean I'm a social media star I feel like I should get some discount but he wasn't having any of it so we got some exclusive new fireworks which I actually didn't get to test out but I'm excited to see what they actually look like are GeekCon fireworks different from other fireworks? I have no idea what's so good about them. And then we have the good old take selfie with cosplayer. This is one of my favorite things I think that's ever been introduced in The Sims 4, in any Sims game, to be honest. I mean, taking pictures with these Sims, kind of just geeking out together, 
this is like my real life. This is what I sometimes do. And to see my Sims reflect that is just so entertaining. It's such a small thing, but you guys know I am entertained by the small stuff. And those pictures go straight into your Sims inventory. So as I was talking about before, I had Rex check in and it did in fact increase his followers, I think, by 20, which is kind of insane, just for checking in at GeekCon. GeekCon must have been happening that week and people were pretty impressed that Rex got to attend. So that's pretty much all I got to cover of the social media career, but I will be focusing on that for sure in my Let's Play. And right here, you can see that little kid behind me doing some graffiti. I think he was actually a teenager and I kind of had my sim just go over and hijack his mural. I felt really mean. I I wanted it to be like a group activity, you know, they're kind of like tagging the street, but it's not even a tag, it's like a physical form of artwork. Like this is a whole forest landscape, which is just incredible, but then he just gets up and walks away from his piece of art. I was hoping we could just give him some tips, you know, she's a creative sim. I was like, yeah, this will be really nice, we'll just go help him out. He just leaves it. He just ups and walks and leaves my sims working really hard on this piece of art that they just stole from some poor teenager who didn't have any friends. And I know this has been a big question for everybody, whether graffiti is a skill in itself or whether it falls under the painting skill. It does in fact just fall under the umbrella of painting skill in The Sims 4. So it isn't a new skill, but if your Sims do have that painting skill, then they'll obviously be really, really good at graffiti. And as soon as I moved into my apartment, I had my Sim start working on this wall mural, which I sized up from the buy mode object and it was just insane. The artwork that she did just looked amazing and she hadn't even completed it yet. Unfortunately, that's all I am allowed to show you in this video. We only had a certain amount of time to record and that's all I have to offer from this video. However, if you would like to look more in depth at City Living, from my perspective, you can check the description down below and there will be a link to my article that I wrote for Platinum Simmers where I go into way more detail about my thoughts on San Myshuno, some of the new activities, the new careers, and just a bit more detail than what I could fit into this preview video. Obviously, I want you guys to check it out as well. So this is kind of just a teaser towards city living. Obviously, if you just wanna keep it within these 10 minute confinements, then that is a-okay with me. I would hate to spoil the whole game for you guys. But like I said, I only got to scratch the surface. I looked at one career, only got to level two of it. And I'm just waiting like you guys to be able to have my hands finally on this game forever for the rest of my days and not give it back over to EA at the end of the day because that was a heartbreaking moment for me. And I was like, I just want to record more whilst I was editing this video. And then I was like, well, I can't because EA didn't allow me to walk out of the building with a copy of City Living, which it brings a tear to my eye to even think about. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, do check out my review overview first look article on Platinum Simmers if you would like to hear my more long-winded version of my thoughts about City Living. But trust me, it's gonna be a long article because I just had so much word vomit and positive things to say about my first look and the few hours that I did get to play. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped a little bit. I hope it was a little bit more informative than some of the things that you have been seeing. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Also, down in the comments below, I want you guys to tell me what you are most looking forward to in city living? Is it a brand new career? Is it the new traits, which I 
barely touched upon, I did actually give Rex the vegetarian trait and it did come up with some very funny scenarios. So I'm looking forward to playing with that a little bit more and exploring what it has to offer. I won't spoil it for you guys, but I just gotta say, your vegetarians do not get happy if you feed them meat, trust me. Don't do it. <laughs> I hope you're all excited to move into the big city at the beginning of November. I know I am. I love you all and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!